T minus 10, first stage engines are at flight speed. Sit five, four, three, two, one, booster ignition. And liftoff, liftoff of the Soyuz rocket as Ron Garin, Andrew Sam Alexander Samakutiyev, and Andrei Borisenko begin their journey to the International Space Station. As you're hearing, everything looking good so far in the first 45 seconds of the Soyuz TMA-21's flight. The Soyuz is now heading toward a link up with the International Space Station two days from now. 50 seconds. Uh, the pressure is within norm and we are doing well on board. 60 seconds, normal. Rotation within norm. One minute and 12 seconds into flight. The velocity of the Soyuz is now 1,100 miles per hour. We've had good first stage performance, and the Soyuz is delivering 102 tons of thrust from its four boosters. Single engine. We are doing well. The first stage of the Soyuz measured 68 feet in length and 24 feet in diameter, and it's burning liquid fuel for the first two minutes and six, se six seconds of the flight. One, 18, Thank you. 20, one, one, five. We are doing good. Uh, all the one, parameters one, are within the norm. 18, 20, one, one, five. 110 seconds. Roll pitch here, Mamadol. Doing good. Jessen and the four strap-on boosters, these have completed their job and have dropped away at an altitude of 28 statute miles. Soyuz is traveling at about 3,350 miles per hour, now two minutes and 20 seconds into its flight. 140 seconds in flight. Copy. One fifty. You here inside the capsule as the crew is making their way into orbit. Again, you can see here on the bottom of the screen Alexander Samakutiyev and next to him Alex, uh, Andre Warsinko out of you, Ron Garin. I don't think we can see it, but we felt it. Two minutes and 55 seconds now into the flight, and the escape tower and launch shroud have by now been jettisoned. Format of control distance on. Three minutes and three seconds. Soyuz is traveling at a speed of about 4,700 miles per hour. Turn on the camera. Yes. And there is a view of uh, NASA astronaut Ron Garin making his way into space for the second time. Ron is monitoring. Soyuz core stage is performing as expected. The core stage of the Soyuz is 56 feet in length, 13 and a half feet in diameter with a single engine with four fuel chambers providing 96 tons of thrust for its 3 minutes and 28 seconds of operation. Now 3 minutes and 37 minutes seconds into the flight. Again view here of Ron Garin in the center of the screen and just in the corner of the view also the uh, Soyuz commander Alexander Semakutiyev. Uh, nominal, stable, stabilization nominal, and we are doing well on board and feeling great. 40 seconds, nominal. Uh, second stage thrusters are operating stable. Copy. Roll pitch here, nominal. Four minutes and 20 seconds into the flight. As you hear, everything continuing to go well. 60 seconds, nominal. Two hundred seventy seconds in flight, nominal flight, copy. Two hundred eighty. Copy. 
now the separation of the second flight. And yes, we can feel that. We have separation of the second flight. Five minutes now into the flight, and as you heard, uh, the core boosters have burned out and separated at an altitude of 105 miles. Third stage uh, now ignite. KR-11, command is issued. Copy that. Core stage engine is now filled its role for today and dropping away. About four minutes of power of flight now remaining. The Soyuz is being propelled by a single engine of the Soyuz third stage. That engine is providing 30 tons of thrust and will burn for four minutes and two seconds in all. Uh, so right now, right before the separation of the second stage, we did feel that. Three hundred forty seconds in flight. No issues. Everything is fine on board. Six minutes now until into the flight of uh, Ron Garin, Alexander Semakutiaya, and Andrei Borisenko. In flight, rotation nominal. Semakutiaya and Borisenko waving there. Everything continuing to go well. 380 seconds, nominal. You can also see there in view the uh, toy dog, which is uh, being used as a indication of when the crew reaches zero gravity. That dog was uh, given to Commander Swiss Commander Alexander Semikutiyev by his daughter for the flight. Four hundred twenty seconds in flight. Thank you. And we are doing good. Seven minutes and 32 seconds. The velocity of the soy is now almost 13,500 miles an hour. Once the third stage delivers the Soyuz to an orbit, uh, to orbit, and the module is separated, a series of pre-programmed commands will be executed to prepare the Soyuz for orbital operations. These stored commands are called time tag commands and allow many of the Soyuz systems to automatically activate using onboard computers at the precise times stored in those computers. In the right window, we can see the sun. Happy. Four hundred ninety seconds nominal flight. Copy, and uh, we're feeling the load now. Five hundred seconds. Five hundred seconds. All is nominal on flight. Eight and a half minutes now into flight. All right, Alexander, Andre, Ronald. I wish you luck. Uh, we will have separation now. Uh, and uh, this is a great, great anniversary flight, and uh, have a great one. More well, sh well wishes there by the team on the ground. We are weightless. Right, separation. Confirming separation, confirming weightlessness. Very good, and we are handing over to the mission control. Copy this. Now nine minutes and ten seconds into the flight, and as you heard there at the nine-minute mark, with the third stage cutoff and separation. Mission control Moscow. Yes, mission control Moscow. This is Tarkani. How do you read us? Loud and clear. How us? Everything is fine on board. Our launch was great, and we're in orbit, and we're feeling great. Thank you. And we're waiting for you. Report on the separation parameters and... Uh, keep monitoring as Kazoo Perch. Follow the book. Uh, 
Ето, а, аз да на меню. Copy. Still seeing a view here inside the Soyuz capsule with that uh, toy dog used to indicate the entrance into zero gravity, now floating rather than hanging. Again, you can see in this view the Soyuz commander, Alexander Semakutiyaya, um, who was given that toy dog by his daughter and is sitting next to him in this view, um, flight engineer Andre Borisenko, just out of view, is the uh, NASA astronaut Ron Guerin. In work. And again, we did have uh, the separation confirmed at nine minutes, which means the Soyuz capsule and crew are now safely in orbit. Spacecraft is automatically executing its pre-programmed commands to deploy the antennas and solar arrays. RPV-1 and 2 are closed. All day has been completed. And the comms session indicator is on. Uh, go to page 45 and on your go, we are ready to copy the parameters. Soyuz is orbiting at an altitude of about 143 miles by 118 miles. And that orbit is going to be raised systematically over the course of the next two days, placing it in close proximity to the International Space Station for the final rendezvous and docking, which is set for 6.18 p.m. Central Time on Wednesday. I'm ready with the times, so ready to copy. You also heard right after that separation the handover of control to the Russian Mission Control Center outside of Moscow. And again, uh, congratulations to the crew from the team on the ground of their flight, which comes just a week before the 50th anniversary of human spaceflight on, uh, on April 12th. 127 Next one, twenty-seven, zero, five, three, one, eight, and the final separation, one, twenty-seven, zero, eight, five, six, three. Again, we're a little over twelve and a half minutes now into um, the flight of the Soyuz TMA-21 now on its way to the International Space Station and safely in orbit with its crew of three, Ron Guerin, Alexander Semakutiyev, and Andrei Borisenko. Uh, we will report as well. Okay, we can give you the first measurement. 26 and 27, did you write it down? Okay, the time of the measurement. 26.27. 